Welcome to another Minron Geological Modeling Tutorial, where we show you the what, where, how, and whys of geological modeling. Today we're going to be discussing form sets, scripting, coding, and macros. And to do this, I'm going to be using Micromine Geological Software. It's an excellent tool for 3D modeling for both exploration and resource modeling geologists. Now, every package has a different um, approach. So some have a more workflow based, and generally on the left here, you'll see a bunch of workflows, this task, that task, this task. Others have a more tool based approach where you have a bunch of different tools at the top here. And what's nice about Micromine is it actually has a combination of both. The problem is that when you have so many different tools, often you have a lot of different ways of doing a task. And because we're geoscientists, we want things to be repeatable. And so you need a detailed list of all the activities, all the tasks that you've done, so that we can accurately record what has been done and how. And that's where form sets come in really handy. And I think the easiest way is just to show you how form sets work. So in Micromine, let's say, for example, I have an area. This is my license area. I have a topography. This is a DTM. You can see all the little triangles there that make it up. And I'd like to drape some points on top of that. So I'm just going to quickly make this my active layer, and I'm going to create a bunch of points across my license area. So these points have been created at a random elevation on my plane of view, and we want them to be draped onto the surface over there. So I have a number of ways of doing that. I could, for example, select all those points, and I could tell the computer to drape them onto that wireframe. And this is an interactive approach. So it selected the points, it selected the wireframe, drape onto the wireframe. However, this is obviously a manual approach. And if I wanted to repeat this task, I would have to do it the exact same way. And there's no record of how I've done it. And that's where a form set comes in. So for example, let's just save my form there. If I went to this little button on the side, I could go down, I open that up, and this is what a form set looks like for draping points onto a wireframe. All I need to do is select my input file, which we have here as test points. So I'll quickly find that. So I'm my points. And we'll do test points at the bottom there. Put in our test points. It lines up all the fields. We can save it. Put this as our join field. We can select our DTM. Say so this was the DTM and it was of the topography. And we have an output file. And all we need to do is save this form and now that process that we did has been recorded and the advantage is that we can do this with a number of tasks and that's where a macro comes in i've got here a very basic macro i'll just remove that form set there this is the general structure of a, a macro or a script in micromine we've got a list of processes we list the forms that we want to do and any outputs that come from that so very simply to repeat the exact same process that i just did now all I need to do is go to the design, editing, there's my drape to wireframe function. So that's the process I want. And I've already made a form telling the computer which files to use. So I go to forms and there's that one I saved earlier, the form set I saved, drape points to wireframe. I can select it. And now the computer will run that process exactly the same way as if I created it manually. The advantage is I can now go through and add a whole lot of other processes and have an accurate record of my processes. And to give you an example of that, this is what a more detailed macro would look like. I've got a lot of tasks here. I said I'm going to do experimental data analysis. I've just written in roughly how long it takes to run all of these processes. And then I have a heading. I'm going to be coding the samples. And here's all my commands to code the samples. Then I start with my EDA and I do some box whisker plots. And these are the form sets and the numbers that I have saved for each of them. And that way you can have a nice record of all the tasks that you've done. And the best part is if you want to add a new point or change a new point, all you need to do, let's add one here. I'll add one here. There's a new point. That new point is not on the topography. And all I need to do is go to my macro and I can run it 